we back. We're back with LA Love, the show. The show you cannot stay away from. This is a show you definitely have to check out. You definitely have to listen to. You definitely have to watch. You know, at the studio, we have like so many great people, beautiful ladies. Uh, about the man, let me see. I'm the, ah. I'm the most, you know, handsome man here. But, that is true. Uh, yes. <laughs> but, but, you know, I, I give some prize to the rest of you guys. But uh, this show is just amazing. We have the lovely Melanie. Okay, you know, she's done so many magazines, movies, you know her from Mafia. So this is a great show. We got Massive Fell in here, the bad guy, the Italian Mafia is here. <laughs> I you like it. Bert, you know, Brett who's worked with uh, almost all the big guys, you know. So let's just pass it back to the lady. Thank you, darling. Well, I'm so excited to have these guests here. Uh, Massi Furian, is that how I say it? Just <laughs> No, give it to me. I'm, I'm throwing it out wrong. Give it back to me. Massi Furlan. Furlan. Ooh, another accent. God, this is hot. I will um, change my accent every question. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, a character actor. All right, let's start with the first one. What will be? What? It was the first question. The first question, love, Tom is... Hurt. Tell me what it was like working on Liz and Dick. It was terrible. No, I'm just kidding. It was <laughs> fun, you know. You work with Lindsay Lohan, so there is always... Entertaining. Super, super entertaining and surprises. It was a good time, and it was one of my... I think my only... It was my only role that I didn't kill anybody or got killed. So that was pretty fascinating for me <laughs> and uh, exciting. Good for you. And, and I mean, your resume is obviously very impressive. The Dark Knight, Badass. And what has been your favorite film to work on? Like, what, what did you resonate the most with? Well, now I switch to Russian, if you don't mind. <laughs> I, I kind of like to work on the Batman movie, of course, because big budget, big money. And uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, Christopher Nolan was a very gracious uh, director, uh, very nice people all around <laughs> the set. That was one of my favorite. I also did a movie with Dolph Lundgren and Billy Zane from the Titanic. When, uh, it was also fun. It was a blood of redemption. I play Serbian guy in there, which is very similar to Russian accent. Yes, I'm noticing the very, very similar, actually. <laughs> and how much voiceover work do you do? Because, my God, you have a career in that. I just had a meeting. <laughs> I just had a meeting with a, with a voiceover agency. Three week, three days ago. So I'm waiting to see what they say. My Hopefully. guess is it went well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and if they don't hire you, let me know. I'd like to manage you. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> what do you have coming up? Well, I just shot uh, True Blood, which is coming out in, uh, in June. Awesome. I, that was very good. And then the director was the lead actor on the show, Steve Moyer. Yeah. Very nice guy. So do you play like a vampire, a werewolf? What, do you, what kind of animal are you? Unfortunately, I can't, dis I can't, uh, I can't say what I play yet. They can never tell. Fangs or claws. Fangs or claws. Waiting. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm not a nice guy. Let's say that. So, You're not a nice guy. Th no, okay. that, when that one comes out in June, so we'll, we'll find out. And then I All shot right. a new uh, TV series for um, uh, produced by Michael Bay. It's called The Last Ship. And, uh, Sounds uh, like your career is really struggling. I know, right? <laughs> I know, right? I know. I understand that you're a painter? A pa well, I, or did you paint I, as a hobby? Yeah, when I was a kid. Okay, have you, have you picked that up in your recent years? I understand that with acting and, and your career being in full swing, that gets no, a little different. No, I haven't painted in a long, long time. My mom, she keep asking me for the last 20 years and I'm not kidding <gasps> to do to draw to do a drawing uh, you know with her picture oh. and uh, I keep saying next month next month and it's been going on for like 20 well, years I'm you not better kidding. get so that you plan done to now, do this for your mom oh I can get another painter to do it and oh. then I sign it oh, oh that's don't forget about I'm Italian we do hey, 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 hey. But, know. you know they'll skim <laughs> but don't forget your craft though yes. you know that's a, you know she wants that from you because it's very special to her I'm sure so I'm moving to uh, the uh, dog training now. That's my new hobby. I train you dogs. You said dog training? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Interesting. How long have you been doing that? Uh, a few years. I rescue a few dogs and I, I developed this new method that I have to train dogs and it's working pretty well. Wow. Where do you rescue them from? Uh, from the street. Aww. Well, yeah, no, I rescued two dogs that I have myself, and then I always have a leash in my car. So quite <laughs> often I see you know, a, a, a lost dog, and, you know, and I 
pick it up and I take it to the shelter and I make sure, you know, they have a microchip and everything and, and and they they get rescue and um, Aww, so 90 percent of the time it uh, goes well in, you know, in the sense that they find the owner and go pick them up because i always go back to the shelter to make sure the owner goes in there to pick them up exactly. for the happy ending yeah exactly that is so great everyone has these ways of giving back and that's a unique way yes that's great i want to go back to your past i understand that you were in the army at 17. yes i yeah i i, I went in the army when i was 17 i was with the uh, Italian Army was yes. flying helicopters. Wow. And one of the best flights was with the Pope, Jean Paul II. Really? 1987. Wow. Wow. What inspired you to to voluntarily go into the Army? Was there anything in your life? The well, that, that, that was my mother idea because it was difficult to find jobs back okay. then. And he said, well, you need to get, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you, you like, uh, you go in the wrong direction in your life. You need to be straight. <laughs> <laughs> so, she, but I, 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 you know, I really enjoyed that time, and it was very nice. I wasn't there for six years, and uh, wow, it was great. I love it. How was flying? Oh, sorry, but honey. Just, really, how has that shaped you? I'm just curious. Say that again. How has that shaped you as a person being in the military? Uh, he made me. A, I became an OCD. OCD. The, I yeah. love OCD. <laughs> I'm very organized with everything, with money, with everything in the house, and everything wow. very, you know, military style. Exactly. So. Proper style. Do you, are you are you like that to everyone in your in your family? Oh, of you? course. <laughs> yeah, especially my girlfriend. Have you made oh, dinner Jesus. today? Dinner at 1900. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I'm just funny. Joking. <laughs> are you in character right now? Uh, I'm in many characters. So right tell me what it was like flying a helicopter. I've I've done one lesson and I absolutely loved it. Do you have do you fly planes or just helicopters? No, not I just flying, helicopters. I was flying just helicopters. I love it. it, it you see, the main difference is that the, the, the airplane keep going. Mm -hmm. The helicopter, you can stop in, how, how they call it, overing. In the middle of the air? Yeah, you can stop Hover, and float. Yeah. Like, just really? like that, and oh, then you yeah, can move hovering. and go back and right and left a little slow. Like oh, this. Yes. Fun. And there are different type of flight. There's a tactic. There are nocturnal, nocturnal and, uh, you know, some that are very, you know, kind of scary because you're very <laughs> low. So yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, you wouldn't find me in a helicopter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I love it. <laughs> I'm a little scary. <laughs> so Masi, you're not very entertaining. I'm, I'm just gonna I'm, throw I'm that out there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and um, seriously, have you ever thought about doing stand up or, or getting back into it? <laughs> you just you read my bio, right? <laughs> no, I'm reading the little side okay. note that was just slipped to me. <laughs> here's, here's what's funny. That I, and you're not entertaining. So, so. I did not set you up. <laughs> in Italy, I was a stand up comedian for many years. Shocking. Wow. <laughs> And now my last um, press release, I demand to have a title of my press release that says "Former Italian stand-up comedian now kills people in movie and television." <laughs> but you get where you have an accent here. That's awesome. You Hilarious. can be funny as much as you want. They, they, you have this face, you have an accent. You just kill people. <laughs> <laughs> Typecast again. You are too <laughs> work is work. Funny. So let's not let's not try too much. You know, it's, it's, it's fun. We Absolutely. got you. Well, please, um, please excuse me if you have already mentioned this before. I stepped back in, but you're you produced and you starred in your movie Italians Do It Best, correct? <laughs> How did you guys? <laughs> <start this stuff>? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we don't. You don't have to, to okay, go no, back I, down I'll the be lane. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. <laughs> Otherwise, my nose will grow like Pinocchio. <laughs> uh, that was actually a reality show. It was it's my first job I did in Miami, man, seven, eight, eight years ago. It was um, a reality show. So basically, there were like two cameras on me for 48 hours. They were following me to see the the Italian uh, lifestyle in Miami. And when I say they were following me everywhere, then even when you didn't them me anywhere, <laughs> yeah. So that was that was fun. And then I was supposed to do another show, which was even better. Uh, it was Italian in vacation, which they would they would <laughs> pay me to go in vacation around the world with the camera so following me, but that one didn't go through. So I have a gut feeling that that one would be entertaining. I think you'd get yourself into a little bit of trouble in these travels. I know, right? That's what I'm sensing. Am I right? <laughs> and I was allowed to carry a gun with me, so. Well, uh, you, you are a, oh. a pleasure oh. to, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's a pleasure having you here and we're gonna have to take it to a commercial. Commercial break, yep, Thank musical you. break. Do it. We'll be and right we'll back. We'll be right back. <laughs>